Nancy, I really appreciate the offer. Thank, thank you very much. All right, let's go to Bart on line one. Bart, you're on News Talk WDBO. Go ahead. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. I was involved in a domestic uh, violence uh, situation in 08, and mm-hmm. along with that came a uh, no contact order. That's cr- Yes, I understand. And uh, I've had extensive contact with the ex-wife since then. We meet each other. We go to ball games together. I want to make this go away. Um, one of the one of the main reasons I really want it to go away is number one, I don't want to have something like that on me, but it also infringes on my right to bear arms. Mm-hmm. So, That's true. So let let me ask this of Dennis first. In a typical no contact order, Dennis, does it last forever, or is there some kind of expiration on it? Usually, there's some that last forever. There are some that uh, have an expiration date on it. Most of the ones I deal with have expiration dates. Uh, if if you were, uh, what I would tell you is that since you have had contact, you have to be very careful. But you can make a motion to end the injunction and have contact, no hostile contact, of course. And the judge, if your wife agrees to that, or if, or if whoever's on the other side agrees to that, it'll probably happen. And so his wife, his ex-wife might very well sign off on that and give her consent to the thing being done and over with, right? Right. And it would take a short hearing, a motion and a short hearing, and uh, it'll probably be done, and you don't have to worry about that being on your record uh, at this time, at and least. And is there something about that no-contact order that prohibits him from carrying a gun or owning a gun? Usually, there, with the no-hostile contact, uh, it's required that you don't have a gun. I think what he may be referring to is that he thinks he may have a felony on his record. If you have a felony on your record in conjunction with uh, the no-contact order, uh, then you can't— uh, uh, own or possess firearms. All right, folks. Hey, folks, my name is Tom Olson. The name of the show is 11 Lawyers Radio Show. My guest today is attorney Dennis Salvaggio. He's been a lawyer right here in Orlando for 38 years. He does criminal defense work. He's also known as a fat guy, the Orlando Magic's number one fan. When we get back, we're going to talk to some of De- about some of Dennis's charitable causes. If you will continue to hold, we will see you on the other side of this news break. You're listening to News Talk WDBO.